Hey everybody, welcome back. Drone Tech here. <laughs> Chuck Todd. I'm sure most of you are familiar with him, uh, but if you're not, he is a deceitful political propagandist for the Democrat Party who portrays himself as a fact-based journalist. Now, one thing you really got to know about Todd is that his millionaire lifestyle is intrinsically connected to Democrat Party power because his wife is a political strategist for the DNC. So yesterday, during a pretty fiery interview between Todd and Republican Senator Ron Johnson, Todd was doing his job as a political propagandist for the Democrat Party and just doing his best to attack and discredit any sort of oversight or investigations into the Bidens. It's so weird how a guy like Todd is totally Totally fine with endless investigations into Republicans or Donald Trump, but the moment that the shoe is on the other foot, suddenly those standards change. I get your word that you're ethically bothered by Hunter Biden. I'm curious though, you seem I to have a- Wait, wait. <laughs> I have to stop it there. Like, what's the point of saying that? That he takes him at his word that he's ethically bother bothered by Hunter Biden. He's suggesting there that this is all just purely partisan, which is just insane because let's not forget that Todd and the rest of the media all took part in a very real effort to cover up crimes by the Bidens and manipulate the election in his favor. Do you think you can find one example of Chuck Todd over the last 30 years questioning the integrity of a sitting congressman simply because they want oversight of the president, which by the way, is one of the top midterm reasons that Republicans were voted into office in the first place. Are you not? Uh, I seem to have a pattern. I, I'm a journalist. I have are, to deal you, in are facts. You not, are you not? I deal in <laughs> I'm so sorry to stop this again, but how can I not after that? Chuck E. Cheese claims that he's a journalist who deals in facts. Well, allow me to retort. Chuck Todd claimed once that more immigration will fix inflation. Of course, without any factual basis for saying that. Then he defended the Biden policy failures, all of them, by claiming that they're just communication errors. He also once claimed that DeSantis flew migrants to distract from abortion. <laughs> that's fact-based, right? Oh, wait, no, that's a conspiracy theory. Or how about that time that Todd just sat back and allowed Al Gore to compare climate deniers to the police at Uvalde? So fact-based. He also once claimed that states voting on abortion laws was, quote, the end of democracy. Does he even know what democracy is? In any case, I could go on and on with this guy. He is anything but a journalist or fact-based. It says, Senator, my question to you is, uh, I'm always worried. I, I have skepticism of both parties. I sit here with skepticism of a lot of people's work. And I'm <laughs> totally curious, right. are you, were you at all concerned? Uh, this, your Senate Democrats want to investigate Jared Kushner's uh, loan from the Qatari government when he was working in the government negotiating uh, many things in the Middle East. Are you not as concerned about, are you not concerned about that? And I say that because it seems to me if you're concerned about what Hunter Biden did, you should be equally outraged about what Jared Kushner did. <laughs> just look at that face he's making. Like he really thinks he scored a point here. But couldn't you just as easily flip that around and ask him why he's not upset about Biden and why he's now f uh, flapping his chicken wings about Jared Kushner? Is Jared Kushner lying on background checks for guns? Is he committing tax fraud or banging hookers on video? Which came from a laptop, again, just to remind you that the media and the government conspired to cover up before an election. I, I'm, I'm concerned about getting the truth. I don't target individuals, target individuals. <laughs> I target you don't? The truth. You're targeting Hunter Biden my, my, my multiple concern, times my on this show, my Senator. Doesn't the media target people all the time? Doesn't the media target Republicans? This is another case where it seems that Todd just has a total blind spot for looking in a mirror. Like he's accusing Ron Johnson of doing things here that the Democrats do on a regular basis, but you will not find Chuck Todd ever accusing Democrats of that. You're targeting an Chuck, individual. Chuck, my, my concern, my, my, you know, Chuck, you know, part of the problem, and, and this is pretty obvious to anybody watching this, is you don't invite me on to interview me. You invite me on to argue with me. Yes. You know, I'm just trying to lay out the facts that certainly Senator Grassley and I uncovered. They were suppressed. They were censored. They interfered in the 2020 election. Conservatives understand that. Unfortunately, liberals in the media don't. And that's part of the things yeah. that uh, part, of, part of the reasons our politics are inflamed. Hey, and I just want to say real quick that he's not a liberal. He's just a Democrat. We do not have an unbiased uh, media. We don't. It's unfortunate. I'm all for a free press. Well, it needs Senator, to be more unbiased. Senator, There's look, misinformation this is, look, on both partisan, sides, but the Senator, censorship and Senator, suppression look, we're trying to primarily do issues occurs here, in from fact, the left. 
partisan cable. Look, you can go back on your partisan cable <laughs> cocoon and talk about media bias all you want. I understand it's part of your identity. <laughs> It's just the complete lack of self-awareness as usual is just mind-blowing. So I got to say, I'm not real impressed with Ron Johnson's performance here because he allowed Chuck Todd to frame this as about Hunter Biden. And I've seen that a lot recently from the Democrat state media. It seems that only Republican James Comer knows how to respond to these deflections. And it's not like it's hard. This isn't about Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden is part of it, but this is about Joe Biden and his part in these shady business deals. Many people look at what you're doing and they see that it, it, it looks more partisan than professional. With all due respect, Chuck, I, I disagree with that. I think the only people that see this as a partisan investigation are the media and the hardcore Democrat. Look, a Harvard poll just came out and said 65% of the Americans believe that uh, the contents of Hunter Biden's laptop should be investigated. But let me be clear, we're not investigating Hunter Biden, we're investigating Joe Biden. Looking at Chuck Todd is full of shit. And he's part of the same group that suppressed this story to influence the outcome of the last election. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks a lot.